just wanted to do a quick check in before today's message, which you're going to love and it's almost a follow up. But I just wanted to say thank you from the feedback I got about keeping promises from yourself uh, um, to yourself. Do you keep your promises? I think the message was had one lady that, you know, went through, uh, I guess, the history or the genealogy of the story that I spoke about. But at the end, she agreed it's about the promises that we make and, you know, God ultimately being in control. And once we surrender there, everything changes. But truly, I loved the engagement. Uh, look forward to more. Watch the next clip. Love you. Bye. Welcome to this episode of Shift. I'm your host, Palmonia Gordon. Thank you for joining us today. The question is, have you ever been accused of being a liar? I, I, I felt it. Some of you cringe because it's a horrible feeling and it's a hard job to have to prove yourself when you know you haven't done something that's wrong. For those of you who are joining us on Shift for the first time, Shift is a platform which stands for simply helping individuals find their true passion, their truth, their purpose. We share thoughts, ideas, stories, and we come together. Now, I asked the question, have you ever, ever been accused of being a liar? Because we live in a culture and a society now where so much is being left to the interpretation of others. We send an email or we send a text which may not 100% explain what it is we're sensing or how we're feeling and therefore it leaves it open for the other person to conclude what was meant by what was said. Or on the other hand, you may have had a situation, you're face to face with someone and you said something. But here's the deal. At the time when you said it, you really meant it. And I'm not speaking about the situation where a guy know he's married and he know he's not going to pick up the girl and he'll say all kind of garbage or a child that just blatantly lies to spirit. No, mommy, I didn't do it. I didn't. And I'm not talking about those situations. You know, it's kind of more life or death or life changing situations. And I'll give you an example. There's this young lady that I know. She was dating this young man and she was in love. She wanted to marry this man. And her parents sat down with her and they spoke to her and they shared with her why they didn't want her to marry this young man. She goes, okay. And she promised them, okay, she's never going to see him again. And when she walked out of the room and the presence of her parents, she walked and she saw him and her heart, in her heart, she knew, oh my God, I can't do what I just promised my parents that I could do. But at the time when she was in that moment with them saying it, she meant it. She meant it with all of her heart because she thought she could. Have you have ever had moments like that? Have you ever had situations like that? Have you ever promised something and you really meant it? You meant it with every fiber of your being. But over time, you found it wasn't possible. You found it wouldn't work out the way you had dreamed or hoped or planned. How did you course correct. Did you just leave it and let that person believe that you're a liar? Is it something that had been done one times too many? Because that sometimes is the challenge why we find the term a liar coming up. When you've had a similar situation happen again and again and again, then it becomes, you know what, that person just doesn't speak the truth. Personally, I think for many of us, when we make a promise or when something happens and in that moment, we meant it. I think I did an earlier message with Jeffy, Jeffy Hatt, this gentleman in Judges 
11 and how he promised God that he would sacrifice the first person that walked out of his household when he got back from war, if God allowed him to win. It happened to be his daughter. He only had one daughter, but he kept his word. If we're not able to keep our word, could we at least have that conversation? Let somebody know that when I said this, I meant it. But it's not possible to happen right now. Is there a way I can make up? Can I do something different? If the means work out for it to go as I had planned or I has, as I had committed, then absolutely I will do it. That sometimes might be the best way to save ourselves the ache and the pain and rid people of the thought or the idea that you are a liar. Remember, sometimes we say things and we meant it when we said it, but the means for it to happen the way we would like doesn't always happen. So with that, thank you for stopping by this episode of Shift. Please remember to subscribe, remember to like, remember to leave a comment down below. Remember that if you are having any conference, you're having any events, you need someone to host a workshop, please get in touch with me. I'm more than happy to. I do group coaching, I do online coaching, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching and mentoring. Palmonia Gordon, palmonia g at gmail.com. Let's talk. God bless you. I love you like the second hand on the clock. Keep taking 60 tiny moves that you can come back tomorrow. I love you. Have a good day.